All right. Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com here at the Earthquake Channel. And we are uh, here to give you the uh, update on the forecast for the, the world forecast, earthquake forecast. And we're going to start with uh, the quakes that hit over the last 24 hours. And then we'll go to the uh, forecast for different countries. I believe we're doing like 17 to 20 different countries. I haven't counted lately, but lots of different countries. And we're going to start with the quakes that have happened. So we're going to look at that right now. And we're going to go right over to here. All right, the first one we're looking at here is the uh, 4.3 hit in the southeast Turkey. Now our warning area, this quake occurred right here about the 70% risk area. Our warning was for uh, eastern Syria and northern Iraq. It was close but not in the 90% risk area, in the 70 to 75% risk area. As you can see right here, here's that lake, and there's that lake right here, so it occurred right about there. All right, the next quick we're gonna look at uh, is four earthquakes that occurred in Northern Chile. And uh, these quakes uh, all occurred in our very high risk area, the uh, 90 to 95% risk area here, um, Antofagasta, Northeast of Antofagasta in Northeast Chile. And once again, these are the quakes right here, these four in Calama, Chile. And uh, I believe that's uh, Antofagasta province or prefecture. There's four of them there. One is in Southern Bolivia and the one in Southern Bolivia is right there. And these other three were right in the 90 to 95% risk area. So that worked out real well. All right, three quakes occurred in Northern Japan. This 6.3 is very significant. And of course we weren't expecting that because uh, otherwise we would have a 90% risk up there. We had a uh, moderate to high risk across the north. And yesterday, if you remember in our, in our forecast, we mentioned that most of the risk is in the far north near Hokkaido in Northern uh, Japan and way down in the south here. So it did hit in our, our uh, moderate to high risk area but um, it should have been more red in here for, the, uh, for that 6.3 that occurred. I wonder how deep that quake was. 35 kilometers, quite deep earthquake. Um, all right, so a 4.6, 4.7, and a 6.3 occurred in our, look at that map again here, in our moderate to high risk area across Northeast Japan. So next earthquake was in far southeast Philippines, a 4.8 down there. And our warning area, as we stated yesterday, was in the far southeast, right down here in the 60% risk area. So that occurred exactly in our, our high risk area down here, the 60% risk area in the far southeast. All right, now that we've done that, we're gonna go over to the uh, so we can get back to our main page here. And we're gonna start with the California for, uh, forecast, California earthquake forecast. And um, the risk, and we're gonna check the latest quakes that have hit here just to make sure nothing has happened yet, okay. So um, the very high risk area is across uh, Northeast. It just, there was just a 2.4 earthquake in Fontana in the Northeast part of the LA basin, right where this 95% risk area is. Expecting more, something more significant here in this area from 95% from Santa Barbara, Santa Maria, that were to uh, San Bernardino and, and over to Blythe. And then there's uh, another high risk area in Southern San Francisco Bay. But at least a 4.0 to 5.0 earthquake should hit during the next uh, 12 to 18 hours down here in LA. And then farther out, maybe the 24th, the 26th of this month, looking for something much stronger in this area. And we'll give you more details as we get closer to that. So once again, here you can see this is our warning area for tonight. And so expecting something significant out here uh, near the Salton Sea, 4.0 to 5.0. And then that risk moves off into Northeast Nevada on the 21st and the 22nd. And then looks like we get a uh, possible 4.0 in Northeast Nevada on the 22nd and the 23rd. And uh, then the risk will begin to build into this part of California 
later on. And we'll keep you updated. That please stay tuned for that because that looks like a much stronger earthquake uh, a few days from now. All right, in the uh, Alaska area, the risk has calmed down across uh, the Anchorage area and southwest of there. A little bit of a high risk here off the coast. And then on the 20th, 21st, uh, risk south of Kodiak, 65% risk there. And then way up in the northeast part of Alaska, um, a high risk there for maybe a 3.5 to 4.0. And then on the 22nd, 23rd, pretty quiet. Pretty quiet across Alaska on the 22nd and 23rd. And now we're gonna to go to Chile, the Chile earthquake forecast. Once again, those is, this is where those uh, uh, four earthquakes occurred in the last 24 hours, right up in this hotspot. And then on the 20th and 21st, that hotspot moves closer to Antofagasta and Calama in northern Chile on the 20th, 21st, and then uh, moves a little farther to the southeast of Antofagasta on the 21st, 22nd. And it looks like it's expanding here uh, northeast of uh, La Serena and southeast of Antofagasta on the 22nd and the 23rd, where 5.0 is possible at that time in that hot spot there. All right, in Italy, we have a uh, high risk in the northwest, maybe a 3.5, 4.0 is possible up there. And then uh, the 21st into the 22nd, uh, actually there was a 3.4 in this spot right here, um, in this little moderate high risk area here today, I believe. So from there to, uh, to the northeast, uh, high risk, and uh, that's on the 21st and 22nd, so east central Italy. And then on the 22nd of the 23rd, a moderate risk in the uh, moderate to high risk in the northwest again for a 3.0, and then high risk down near Algeria on the 22nd, 23rd. In Japan, like we saw those quakes that occurred in this area here uh, today. Um, the risk kind of builds over Iwate Prefecture, 65% risk there for something maybe at 4.0 to 4.5. And then the risk is much higher down here. This is uh, the 22nd to the 23rd, and maybe a 5.0 is possible down near Nagasaki and uh, Kumamoto on the 22nd to the 23rd. All right, the Philippines forecast. As you saw in this forecast here, the risk was in the far southeast where that earthquake occurred. And then it gets very quiet, very quiet on the 21st to 22nd. And then 22nd to the 23rd, 4.5, 5.0 is possible southwest of Manila. And this island here is uh, west of Mindoro. This is Mindoro Island. So west of there, 4.5, 5.0 is possible. All right, over in Greece, Athens, Greece forecast. Interesting forecast map here. This is, uh, we could get uh, northwest of Athens in uh, Thessaly, the Thessaly prefecture pre uh, here. This could produce a 4.5 to 5.0 earthquake. Significant earthquake, so that's a warning area to look out for in Greece, if you're in Greece. 4.5 to 5.5 is likely in that area in the next 24 to 36 hours. And then it quiets down in that spot, then the east of Crete, and it looks like Rhodes Island could get a 4.5 to 5.0 on the 21st to 22nd. And then it quieted, quieter yet on the 22nd to the 23rd, and maybe uh, 3.5 to 4.0 is possible at that time in that area. In Central America, right now, we're looking at a uh, maybe a 5.5 South Mexico and southwest of Guatemala uh, during the next 12 hours or so. And then on the 20th and 21st, maybe a 4.0 near Belize and northern Honduras. And then uh, moderate risk here south of Mexico and moderate risk near uh, Honduras and uh, Nicaragua. Kind of quiet actually. And, uh, a moderate risk near Mexico again on the 22nd, 23rd. High risk south of Panama, maybe a 4.0 down in that area. 
All right, let's go over to the Peruvian Ecuador forecast. And pretty quiet yet tonight. And then the 20th to 21st, the moderate risk there in the Northwest Peru. And then a 4.5, 5.5 is possible from offshore Ecuador to Southern Ecuador and Northwestern Peru on the 21st and the 22nd. 22nd and 23rd, again, the same area. Um, 4.0, 5.0 is possible in, in that uh, northwest Peru and northeast of Quito, Ecuador. And Indonesia, Indonesia forecast. So we got a possible 5.0 off the northwest coast of Sumatra during the next 12 hours or so. And then the high risk begins to build across the west of east central uh, Sumatra and far northwest Sumatra. So a 5.0 is possible there. And a 4.5 to 5.0 is possible off the west coast of central Sumatra on the 21st to 22nd. And here's a significant forecast here. On the 22nd to the 23rd, a 6.0 earthquake is possible off the coast of central Sumatra. And keep an eye out for that on the 22nd, 23rd. 6.0 earthquake is possible west of central Sumatra. All right, let's go to the Taiwan forecast. Pretty quiet, 45% moderate risk in uh, western Taiwan on the 20th, 21st. And then uh, Ryukyu Islands, uh, maybe a kind of a moderate risk up there, moderate risk in Taiwan, not all that high of a risk yet. And then the UQ Islands, 70% uh, risk across the north there, and moderate risk across Taiwan. Pretty quiet. So Puerto Rico and the Caribbean forecast, we could get a 5.5 earthquake southeast of Puerto Rico during the next 12 to 24 hours near the U.S. Virgin Islands there. Then the risk moves into northeast, uh, the Lesser Antilles there or maybe 4.0 there. And here's a uh, significant uh, situation here. Uh, 5.0 is possible in Southwest Dominican Republic or Southern Haiti during the, uh, the 21st and the 22nd. That's a concerning forecast there. All right, and then on the 22nd and 23rd again, Northeast of Puerto Rico, a 4.5 is possible on that day. So the most concerning is this one on the 21st and the 22nd where a significant earthquake could occur uh, in the southwest portion of the Dominican Republic. All right, in the Seattle, Washington link here, we have a uh, 5.0 is possible offshore Oregon on the 19th and the 20th, which is during the next 12 hours or so. The 20th and 21st, 3.5 is possible in Southern Idaho. And here's a significant forecast here, the 21st and the 22nd. South of Portland, Oregon, 4.5 to 5.0 is possible. South of Portland on the 21st and the 22nd. And then on the 22nd and the 23rd, Southern Idaho and Salt Lake City, Utah, could get a 4.0 in that area on the 22nd and 23rd. One more forecast in uh, Turkey, Istanbul, and uh, Syria and Iran, Iraq and uh, Cyprus. So there's still a uh, moderate to high risk across Iraq and uh, moderately high risk across Northern uh, Turkey where a 4.0 is possible there. And then we could get a 5.0 earthquake in Western Georgia on the 21st and 22nd, the country of Georgia. And then on the 22nd and the 23rd, uh, 4.0 to 4.5 is possible in Georgia, country of Georgia, and then that high risk extends down to Syria. Once more, we're going to look at California because that's where we are. A um, 4.0 to 5.0 earthquake is likely during the next 12 to 24 hours in Southern uh, California. And you can see that here by Salton Sea as well. Then the risk moves into Nevada on the 21st and the 22nd and the high risk in the Northeast Nevada on the 22nd and 23rd. Please stay tuned um, three, four, five days from now. Keep an eye out that 
big quake is going to happen in uh, California, but we'll update you when we get closer and we get some stronger signals. Right now, we should get about a 4.0 to 4, uh, 5.0 in Southern California during the next uh, 18 hours or so. So, we're going to go back to the uh, deal here. We're going to say, uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Just figuring this thing out. All right, thank you so much for uh, watching tonight, and uh, we'll keep you updated, keep you safe here at QuakePrediction.com. Our forecast model after 15 years of research is uh, improving by the day. It's getting better and better. And thank you so much for everybody for following our forecast, and uh, be sure to subscribe to this uh, our channel here, and we'll keep you updated. Please stay tuned. About four or five, six days from now, there's going to be a strong earthquake in Southern uh, California, stronger than the one that in the next 12 to uh, 24 hours. And I'm very concerned about that one. And we'll keep you informed. And we will talk to you tomorrow, Monday night, and update you on what's happened during the last 24 hours. Thank you so much. And again, uh, God bless you and have a great uh, week coming up. And we will talk to you soon. Thank you.